and then after the next the seven days after sorry about that Hey guys, welcome back to Cast Strength. My name is Vito, and this is the Whiskey Corner Review. Today, we are going to talk a little bit, a little bit about Johnny Walker, White Walker. Now, as I'm pouring this, I just want to say that <clears throat> my last round of videos, we had some audio issues, unfortunately, and I recorded them all in one night, and I noticed that there was a bit of an issue after the fact, and I kind of didn't want to redo all of the reviews so I am I decided to go ahead and just release the um, those videos I do apologize if there was a bit of inconvenience with the audio um, but you know sometimes you know it is what it is so I just thank you um, for your patience with that now hopefully that these videos come out a little bit better now the White Walker is part of Diageo's um, marketing uh, plan um, to tie in, you know, a good chunk of their distilleries and tie them in with the Game of Thrones, and they used um, Johnny Walker as the expression, uh, as a distillery for the White Walkers, and it does lead to like some pretty cool, you know, bottle um, bottle designs. And my, there we go found the sweet spot right there. People put this in the freezer and then you know you get a little bit of a secret message happen on the side of it. I won't spoil it for anybody that um, that doesn't know yet, it yet, but it does um, it does do something pretty cool. Now, uh, if I'm not mistaken, they sourced a lot of the, um, the whiskey for this blend from, I can't remember. There's going to be a little uh, underlying thing here, obviously. I don't have my notes in front of me right now. So I'm just going off the cuff with this one to start, which is always a good um, a good look. Now, it's bottled at 41.7%, which is awesome because, you know, it's not 40, but it's an odd, um, it's an odd ABV to choose for Johnny Walker. But it is what it is, you know. Um, we get it, it's a marketing thing, and really, and I'm sure if you guys watched a couple of the videos that we've been releasing, um, I don't have particularly strong, a uh, positive opinions on this whiskey, but we're gonna give it a shot. Maybe we can try and find something that's a little bit redeeming with this expression to make it worth it. So let's get to it. On the nose, and this is uh, room temperature, not, out of the freezer. I do have one in the freezer, but I'm saving that that one unopened for um, for the actual premiere of Game of Thrones. See if I can convince some of my friends to drink a bit of it, and uh, so there's less for me to drink. <laughs> it's on the nose, like golden. I don't gonna. I'm not. Uh, yeah. So like golden fruits, not golden fruits, golden berries. I think mulberries. Like the white mulberries, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm remembering that, that's that um, that smell correctly. Maybe some some bright raisins. Not very much else other than that, because I'm trying to pull out. I'm trying to see past the what I sort of get from this, which is like a weird sort of chemically metallicy. Um, sort of deal. Um, I think that's to do with the blend that they chose. I'm pretty sure there's grain involved in this one here, which that metallic sort of um, note does come through for me, for a couple of other people in grain whiskey. It's not awful on the nose. <clears throat> it does sort of, it's lacking a little bit, but you know, for what, for what they're giving you in, you know, just the image and, you know, it is a big marketing thing. So a lot of people don't have, have already made the, made the decision that, they're, that they didn't have high hopes for it. So it is what it is. It's not offensive, but it's not inviting really. It's sort of just whatever. 
See, now on the taste, it gets really weird. And what I mean by that is that in the nose, the good and bad were sort of like neck and neck, like they were just kind of fighting for each other. There was a bit of good, a bit of bad, and it was it was fairly close. And in terms of the the position on the offensity scale, I'm just gonna coin that. I'm gonna coin that right now. They were kind of in between, like in the middle, like in the like you know, bounce between zero and five on either side. On this, on the taste, it's escalated to like you know, 15, 20 maybe. The extremes are really are much more pronounced. Like it's 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 really bad and you know really good. It's just kind of conflicting and oh God, what am I tasting? It's it's weird. It's bad aspect. This is not flattering whatsoever. It's a weird. Oh, I don't even know if I really want to say this on on camera because this is. I'm getting like a weird vomity taste, but alongside like a bright sugar plummy aspect. It's got some, like an ice wine quality about the sweetness, but like a weird dark dank funk taste. At the end of the day, I'm not, I, 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 you know, it is, it is, I guess I keep on saying this, it is what it is, but I'm not impressed by it. It's got like a whatever finish. I don't particularly enjoy this. I'm most likely going to be making cocktails out of this one. I may do an episode where I just make a whole bunch of cocktails and sub in this and see how it turns out. If you guys like that idea, leave a comment down below and let me know if that's something that would be of interest to you. Um, and I'll, t I'll do it. I'll, I'll, I'll be From today's date, when this video releases, I'll leave the comments open for seven days. And then after the seven days, I'll see how many people are interested in it. And then I'll have that video out in a couple of days from that seven day period. So well, let me know. I'm going to give this guy I'm gonna give it a two, only on the merit that I've had, I've, I've done a couple of cocktail experiments with this already. God damn it. I've done a couple of cocktail experiments with this already and it's 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 redeeming in a cocktail um, insofar as that doesn't ruin it. So I can drink it and I can make use of the bottle. So if I can't make use of the bottle um, and the juice inside of it, it gets a one. If I can salvage it, it's a two. So I'm gonna give it a, 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 a very low level two. I don't recommend buying it. Um, I barely recommend getting it neat at a bar. Um, I doubt even a bar would have this, but if it does, maybe ask them to make a cocktail out of it. So in the meantime, uh, if you guys don't mind liking or disliking um, the video, um, and if you dislike it, let me know what you don't like about it, and I will work to make it better, obviously. We're on Twitter, Facebook, at the Cast Strength on both those spots. Um, in the description below, you'll see some links to our uh, audio and video podcast, where you can listen to our uh, bi-weekly streams there. And instead of going through YouTube, you can listen to the audio or the video on your respective platforms. And we will see you guys next time. So, cilantro guys, stay classy and stay safe.